welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. I'm Holly Bill. So, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about how the universe is talking to you all the time, all the time, in every moment, in every second. And if you are here, the universe is talking to you through this video as well. <laughs> so, we need to pay attention to the things that are popping up in our lives. Especially if something is repeating a lot for you. If it's showing up a lot, <laughs> the universe is trying to tell you something. <laughs> so, just an example, because I, I have hundreds of these, you know, throughout the week. But, just yesterday, right, I'm, we're going to bed. I'm putting my daughter to sleep and we're having our last conversations as we do every night, you know. And I said, to, and she said to me, so how's it going? She always asks me these life questions. How are you feeling, mum? How's your life? <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. How's yours? <laughs> anyway, then we're talking and she's saying to me, she was saying something about, um, it's all about the lessons. Life is all about the lessons. We're just here to experience these beautiful lessons, right? And I said to her, but I'm done doing lessons. <laughs> I said to her, I just want to be, right? I'm done with having to <laughs> understand it or figure it out. Or I said, I'm done with all that. I said to her, I just want to be. I want to enjoy the sun when it's on my back. And I want to enjoy the wind when it's on my face. I said to her, and I want to enjoy the birds when they're singing in the trees. And I just want to be, you know? I said to her and that's it you know and then this morning it's so funny that's the last thing she says to me mom we're just here for these lessons these life lessons and I know because I've had conversations you know with my soul and yes I know that you know we have chosen to have certain experiences in this life to have these lessons to me they're the experiences right because through the experiences is that we gain knowledge we know so and that's why we're here right because it's only here that we can experience these things but this morning right i turn on my computer and i sit down to continue writing my book because that's the first thing i do in the mornings and i'm you know writing the fourth book and i write one line and then I'm just staring at the screen. And I'm like, yesterday I couldn't stop writing, right? So I'm sitting there and the words just get blah, it was like verbal diarrhea. And then today I sit there and I get one line and I'm just watching it, you know? <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's nothing, right? Complete blank. And I'm like, fine. I go over to YouTube and I was looking for something. I can't even remember what I was looking for. And then the first video that shows up on the feed, right, on the is something about the 10 things you need to know or the 10 things 10 things you need to know about life or something like that anyway i thought what so i clicked on it right <laughs> and next thing i know it's this guy rambling on about uh, life is about the lessons and i'm like okay i get it it's about the lessons and so <laughs> The universe talks to us all the time. We just have to be open to receiving the messages. You see, before you come into this life, your soul already has a plan of what it wants to experience. And it has nothing to do with what, you know, our human self has decided that we want to do along the way. <laughs> you know, to buy the house, to have the family, to get married, all of that. It's, the soul doesn't care about any of that. It has its plan of what it wants to experience. And so it has already decided before we came in that these are the experiences that it wants to have, right? Your beautiful spirit that's inside your body. And in every moment, the universe is talking to you to remind you, oh, that this was what you came here for, right? And he, they talk about lessons, but for me, it's experiences, right? We come here to have these experiences because 
through those is that we can grow and evolve into more love. We can understand love more fully, right? But it was just funny that, you know, I got blocked this morning. I wrote one line and got completely stuck. And then I go over to YouTube. I was actually looking at my channel, but as I look across, I saw the word lessons. And as I saw the word lessons, I thought, I'm going to click on that. <laughs> then five out of the ten things talked about lessons. And I thought, oh, so, <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> so, yeah, it's nothing to do with all the things outside of us that we think it has to do with this life, right? And it's funny because recently I was telling one of my friends, it feels like a game, right? I remember up until recently, I would get up in the morning and I would play this game called Fortnite, right? That all the kids are obsessed with. But I love this game because I love the imagery, right? When you go in, the scenes, the settings, the colors, right? I just love it and the quests. I like completing the quests. So I'd been playing this game for about two years and then one morning I remember I woke up and I thought, oh, this is life, right? Before you go into the game, you have to pick an avatar. You choose the body that you're going to show up as in the game, right? So we choose our body. <laughs> we come into the game called life. You go into the game and in Fortnite, you always have a set of quests that you complete right to level up right then you get stars and then you can buy new avatars new skins right and new things to make you look really cool in the game anyway so it just all of a sudden i had this this ah moment right <laughs> i'm sitting there choosing my skin to go into the game and i thought oh my god this is life I choose my skin, I choose my body, I choose whether I'm going to be a man, a, a woman, a fat, skinny. But I already choose my avatar. I already choose who I'm going to be physically, right? The avatar, the skin. I choose that before I come in because it's going to be the best one to help me complete my quests, you see, along the way. And the quests in the game are what we call here lessons <laughs> so i remember one day just being so clear about the whole thing that that's what life is it's just a game you know and just as it is in the game and i know for some people it's going to be hard to understand but in the game you do have to kill off other players and be the last man standing right and all of a sudden it dawned on me that when you're in the game and you do that, you don't have any feelings either way. I don't feel bad and I don't feel good when I kill them. I just know I have to kill them or they'll kill me. And then I have to start the whole game again, right? That's the essence of the game. You complete the quests, try not to get killed, but if someone shows up and they're not on your team, you have to kill them, right? And in the game, you don't have any feelings either way. like. You know, I don't sit there later crying for hours. Oh, no, I killed this avatar, right? This, <laughs> oh, I feel horrible. I killed a person, you know. <laughs> I don't. I don't have any feelings either way. And when you understand what life is really about, it's the same. We have all these ideas about killing, that it's good or bad or it's this or it's that, you know. And it's funny that if a person goes into a school and murders a teacher, that's murder and that's considered bad but we can send thousands of soldiers over to another country to kill off thousands of people and that's that's good they're protecting our freedom but that's still killing that's the same action it's just that we've decided that this one is bad but this one is good but it's still killing and you've still taken a life do you see what i mean so you can argue that till the cows come home but for me <laughs> that day with that game i just remember you know i've stopped playing it now for a little while because i've just got so much going on but and i've been called to come back and do all this work so i thought well, i can't keep playing that for an hour every morning when i've got to do the book and i've got to do the videos and there's just so much that needs to be done right now but i even had that realization that the killing isn't good or bad it just is and then that spirit that person gets sent back out of the game to choose another avatar 
to come back into another game. It never, it never ends. It's infinite <laughs> until we decide, okay, we've had enough. We don't want to do that anymore. You know, just like with the game, the Fortnite game that now it's on hold and I'm not playing it. It's the same thing. I'm not playing it because I don't want to, but I can go back in whenever I want. And this life is the same. The life ends, it can end early, it can end much later, you can be a hundred when you die. It doesn't matter. You go back out, you choose another avatar. You come back in. <laughs> it's just fascinating. When that light bulb went off in my head, I was just like, wow, that's life. And the quests in the game are the lessons we came to learn. And sometimes, just like in the game of Fortnite, the quests get harder and harder. Sometimes they, they layer them so that you have one thing that you have to complete and then they add on to that to make it just a little bit harder and then a little bit harder. And life is the same. Sometimes we'll come in and we've come in for this level of forgiveness down here as something easy to forgive. And our spirit says, okay, we can do that in this lifetime, right? Or in many lifetimes, whatever. And then you come back and you choose something else that you have to forgive that's a lot harder to forgive. And then you come back for the ultimate level of, oh, wow, this is unforgivable. But I'm here to forgive this in this lifetime. That's what my spirit, that's its quest for this lifetime. So don't worry if your head goes, you know, it's just crashing and gone, oh no, I can't, I can't deal with that, that's fine. <laughs> that's just how I see life at the moment. <sighs> but everyone has their own perception of what life is. And, uh, and that's fine. You know, if you believe this is the only lifetime and you get to the end of it and you die and kaputski, that's it. There's nothing else. That's fine. There's no right or wrong here. It just is. And so, yeah. All right, my darlings. I'm going to leave you with that thought for today. I love you. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.